This video will demonstrate and explain how to capture mandibular premolar and molar periapical radiographs. Before seating the patient, a few things must happen. First, you must cover the appropriate areas with plastic. The patient's chair must be bagged, the mouse of the computer, exposure button, and control panel on the x-ray machine must be covered with a plastic barrier, and the sensor size should be chosen and covered with a size appropriate plastic sleeve. A size 2 sensor is generally used unless a smaller sensor is necessary. Second, the needed supplies should be gathered and assembled. Necessary supplies include a lead thyroid collar, a posterior bite block, a posterior rod that should lay flat on the table and is at a 90 degree angle as shown here. You will also need an offset aiming ring, and a covered size 2 sensor. For assembly, the posterior bite block should be placed onto the posterior rod. Then slide the offset aiming ring onto the rod. Correct placement will show the posterior bite block centered within the opening as shown here. This allows for correct angulation and the prevention of cone cut when the radiograph is taken. Once steps are completed, you are now ready to seat the patient. Place the lead thyroid collar around their neck and begin capturing the images. To capture a mandibular premolar periapical radiograph, gently place the sensor between the tongue and the premolars of the patient's mouth. The sensor should be parallel to the long axis of the tooth and the buccal plane of the premolars. The position indicating device of the x-ray tube head needs to be aimed toward the center of the offset aiming ring. The position indicating device should be parallel to the rod. You are now ready to capture the image. A good mandibular premolar periapical radiograph will present the distal half of the mandibular canine, all mandibular premolars, and 2 millimeters of bone apical to the apex of the root. To capture a mandibular molar periapical radiograph, move the sensor posterior. Place the position indicating device parallel to the rod as indicated in the premolar radiograph. A good mandibular molar periapical radiograph will capture the entire tooth and root length of the most distally erupted tooth, mandibular molars, and 2 millimeters of bone apical to the apex of the root. Repeat these same placements on the opposite side of the mouth. Once you have captured all requested images, the patient can be dismissed. For cleanup, throw away all plastic coverings, place all autoclavable materials in a cassette, and send them to sterilization. Use four cabby wipes and wipe down the lead thyroid collar, x-ray tube head and extension arm, and sensor with attached cord and the countertop. That completes the process of taking both mandibular premolar and molar periapical radiographs.